Well guys, we just woke up from our first night camping in the new Parco trailer and gotta be honest. Dusty here. Where we want to be, it's down a long, bumpy road with tons of washboards. So what we're gonna do is unload the Ranger, load the dogs in the Ranger, load ourselves in the Ranger, bomb down this road, hopefully snag that spot. If not, hopefully find another spot. And then we're gonna come back, somebody's gonna drive the truck, somebody's gonna drive the Ranger, and we're gonna go set up camp. So come along with us. I mean, that's nice of them. I mean, we might cruise up here tomorrow, but that's disappointing. We don't really have a specific plan B. We know there's a couple decent spots down here, so we're gonna go check that out. Well, that was spot number two. I think there's one more up here, but I think that's it. How is this possible? Right. We might have ourselves a place to camp tonight. Perfect for a cargo trailer. Mm -hmm. So let's get it. Filthy. I'm so happy. I'm gonna do a little walk around, a little walk around the campsite. Huge turnaround. We got to pull through plenty of clearance on both sides. About as straightforward as you can get. So this is the main road and it's a view of the campsite. I like that there's a lot of open space, but there's boulders. You don't have people filling up every nook and cranny. It's gonna be fun. Loaded up the Ranger in record time. It is bumpy. Oh man. Looks like the trailer's handling it well. See you guys real soon at camp. I mean, it's right down here. I think I heard him just ripping down the road. Either that or it was another throaty coming. Sound like him. <laughs> Like a bat out of hell. That was so fast. That was so fast. Yeah. It was pretty smooth. So I'm gonna get this thing leveled out. Awesome. And figure it out from there. Cool. <laughs> Let's 
smells like redneck in there. <laughs> Just jack it up. Actually, <laughs> I think we're good. I will still put the jack down because that'll help stabilize it instead Ooh. of the shocks on the truck. I think we good. Right, Eli? I gotta say, for plan C, this is dope. It might become a new plan A. I like it. Uh-huh. So we're gonna get the Ranger out, get a few things set up, and figure out if we're gonna chill at camp tonight or take the Ranger out for a ride. I don't know. We'll mm -hmm. see. New trailer, same setup pretty much. So this is the same mattress and frame you saw in our other video with our smaller cargo trailer, but so much more space. You guys heard us whine about it. Wanted to upgrade with these two dogs, wanting some more space. We went from a six by 10 to a seven by 14. We have a lot more space. Even just being able to turn this bed the other way gives us, you know, another foot or two, so. What's next? Might as well get this cracking. Mountain AC. This thing, it's a Teton double. It's so warm. The top will be off tonight. <laughs> what did we not bring? Pillows. That's all right. We got flannels. Yep. I'm just now slowing down enough to really get a look at the creek, to really get a look at the crick. <laughs> creek or crick? It's both, okay? It's awesome. I think we should just stay here tonight. I think so. Yeah. This camp, we just gotta stay here. I know. So yeah, we'll get up uh, at some point tomorrow morning, head out, explore in the ranger. But for tonight, we got here later than expected and we're gonna enjoy it. We need to get some more firewood though. I just realized they left some oh, for us. It's uh, not looking too dry. Yeah, though. it's not super dry. It's like they just chopped down that live tree over there. Well, there's enough deadfall. I think we'll go gather some more. We brought a few pieces to get us started. Might as well get it going. Mm -hmm. Steaks. Wow. That now. That's not a smoke alarm, folks. That's the timer. Right. Not bad. Yeah. Honestly, don't drop that. <laughs> We're almost ready.
So I said earlier, eating the steak has been our target since we got here. And it was one of our targets. The other one is drinking some Pendleton whiskey. Well guys, we just woke up from our first night camping in the new cargo trailer and gotta be honest, loved it, loved it. It's so much better, so much better than our 6x10 trailer, which if you haven't seen it, check out this video here. Easily triple the floor space, easily, easily. Yeah. enough space for the dogs to not be in the entire walkable area of the floor. Yep. So there are definitely some things we would change and definitely some upgrades we're gonna make. Definitely gonna put windows in. Windows and insulation. Then it's about, you know, picking the right floor, which we're not 100% sure on yet. Kind of tossing around composite, rhino line, and we've tossed around the epoxy and then cabinets after that. We'll go from there. If you guys would like to see a comparison between our old 6x10 Vinos and our new 7x14 Vinos. Let us know in the comments down below. There's probably a few things we liked about the other trailer too that we don't have here. Putting that together would probably be good for us to remember exactly what we liked and didn't like about the little one and, yep. and what we could do with this one. So yeah, let us know. Getting a visit from the park ranger here. Oh, fun. This is the first time this has ever I happened. Know. Yeah. We uh, we neglected to turn the camera, uh, but it's just a couple of Park Service folks, Force Ranger folks, that were coming by to drop off the burn regulations. If you're gonna burn anywhere, especially in the National Forest, make sure it's okay to do so, and make sure you're doing it responsibly. Enough with these human caused forest fires already. Yeah. Campfires, warming fires, and cooking fires are still permitted, but you must follow the burning regulations. We wanted to get just about everything put away so we could take the ranger out, go explore, and be ready to rock head home when we get back. A lot of beautiful country to see. It should be amazing, so please stick around also, if you like what you're seeing, please hit that like button. It helps us out, folks. We appreciate it. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for watching. Ready? Yeah, I think so. You want to pop it ready first? Uh, yes, absolutely. One cup of coffee is not quite enough. Uh, thank you, Rover.
come back. Make it break. Make it break it. Well, thank you guys for joining us for our inaugural dirt bag trip in the 7x14. I think it was a success. Let us know in the comments if you agree. Uh, a lot's gonna change with this trailer and we look forward to sharing it with you. So thanks again for watching and we will see you on the next one. <laughs> so <good. laughs> I'm gonna let it go far away. Just another day in life for a woodman.